Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a game or game engine from scratch in LWJGL or Lightweight Java Game Library. I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded all the files you need from their website and if you haven't there's a link in the description and I advise you to download that. So I'm going to start by creating a new project. It's going to be Java Project and I'm going to call it My Game. Just hit finish and now we're going to add the external libraries from LWJGL. So go to properties, Java build path, add external jars, and we're going to select LWJGL, LWJGL util, and J input. After you did that, we're going to expand this little JRE system library and double click native library location. We're going to select external folder and go into the place where you downloaded LWJGL and into the folder native and select whatever operating system you're using. As you can see I'm using Windows so I'll select Windows. Just press OK after that. Now we're going to create a new class and it's going to be the main class for our game. So create new class. I'm going to call it game. If you're using Eclipse um, you'll have this create public static void main. That just allows the class to be ran as a program. So if you don't use Eclipse, you can just type this right here, public static void main string array args. And after that, I'm going to create two methods in my game class called public void init, which will initialize the class, and public void run, which will be the render loop. It'll be ran every time that the screen renders. In this public static void main, I'm going to type new game dot init. And in init, I'm going to create a display mode, call it display mode, equals new display mode. And in display mode, you input the screen width, so I'll type screen width, and the screen height. And we don't have these variables yet, so I'll just put them up here. Int screen width equals 1080, and int screen height equals 720. And you'll probably notice that this will come up with an error. That's because we haven't imported the LWJGL the libraries. So we'll just import org.lwjgl.opengl. After that, we're going to have to create try and catch exception. And if there is an error, I'm just going to type ex.print stack trace. Just print out the error. And in this little try method, we're going to type display dot set display mode and our display mode after that type display dot create which will create the display and then type run which is our method down here and we're gonna create a boolean called finished and this just detects if if we have finished the game like if it's closed do not update anymore close the game out so I'll type while not finished and then I'm going to type display dot update display dot sync to our frame rate which I will create up at the top to int frame rate equals 60 and also in this update method I'm going to type if display dot is close requested if the you know, the X button is pressed. Uh, finished equals true. So when we run this, we should get a black screen. Likewise. Now I'm going to create another class called Render Manager, which will cr contain ways of changing the color. Um, oh, a lot of other stuff. So call it Render Manager. And for now, we're just going to have clearing the screen and keeping track of the screen color. So we're going to create red, green, blue, and alpha values. This will be the color of the screen. Float, so uh, they're going to have to be static. So static float red equals 1.0. I'm going to make the screen red, by the way. Static float green equals 1.0. Static float blue equals, oh, I was making the screen red. So make green zero static flow alpha equals 1.0. Now we're going to create another public static float void 
clear screen. And in here, we're going to type GL11, not 11, 1.1 1 .1 plus, it looks like 11, so I say 11, dot GL clear, clear color. And if you've named them as red, green, blue, and alpha, they should automatically be set correctly. But as you can see, it's red, green, blue, and alpha. So GL dot GL clear. And in here, you're going to type GL. 11 dot gl color buffer bit which clears the color and gl 11 dot gl depth buffer bit which clears the depth buffer which we we don't really need now as we're not rendering anything 3d but it will come in handy in the future so every update frame we're going to type render manager dot clear screen and this should have our screen as red as you can see. I hope this video helped you and leave a comment. Like it if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.